What's up guys? This is Javelin at English Tutor Hub and welcome to my channel. Today, we are doing a vocabulary lesson and I'm going to explain when to use the words quiet or quiet. So, here are two words, quiet and quiet. And these two words have similar spelling. Quiet, Q U I E T. Quiet. Quiet, Q U I T E. Quiet. So very similar. But they are pronounced differently. So listen to the pronunciation. Quiet. Quiet. So there are two syllables. Now, listen to the pronunciation of this word. White. White. So you can hear that there's only one syllable and the sound is slightly different. So we have quiet, two syllables, and quiet, which has only one syllable. They also have very different meanings and uses. So let's look at the differences. Quiet, again quiet so quiet is quiet is an adjective so remember an adjective modifies a noun and quiet means making little noise so not making much noise and another meaning is with very little activity and excitement so the first meaning is in fact the first meaning is in fact the opposite of noisy it's the opposite of noisy example the teacher told the kids to be quiet so the teacher instructed the kids to not making any noise or not to make much noise the teacher told the kids to be quiet another example the mall is always quiet on Sunday again the mall is always quiet on Sunday here we are actually describing the level of activity of the mall we are not really describing the sound or the noise we are describing the level of activity so this means this sentence means there is there is little activity and that means that there are not many customers on Sundays all right so the mall is always quiet on Sunday you ought to be quiet in a library so here in this sentence sample you are told you are told not to talk don't make any noise and this is the action this is the action here or the gesture a group gesture that we make when we are telling someone to be quiet 
you ought to be quiet in a library so don't make any noise next we have quiet so quiet is an adverb so remember an adverb modifies a verb adjective or another adverb and the meaning is well quite defines the degree of something and that means a little or a lot but not completely so it's a little or something and sometimes it can mean a lot or something but not completely so example we have here Debbie Debbie I'm feeling quite tired so this means I'm feeling quite tired this means a little tired but not completely tired not very tired she is not exhausted but she's she's quite tired another example the physics exam was quite difficult so this means it was it was a little difficult but not completely difficult so there was a slight degree of difficulty all right it wasn't easy it wasn't very difficult but it was it was just quite difficult next here they said the dog was quite badly enjoyed oh, sorry guys here they said the dog was quite badly enjoyed so meaning that this means that a dog was badly enjoyed but not completely enjoyed so guys let's look at the grammar of this let's look at the grammar of this three of these three sentences so here quite is the adverb and it is modifying an adjective it is modifying an adjective and the adjective is tired okay I'm feeling quite tired so again quite here is an adjective and it is modifying an adjective tired so here in sentence 2 here white is obviously still an it is obviously still an adverb and it is describing an adjective difficult which is modifying the adjective which is modifying the adjective difficult here in number three they said the dog was quite badly injured here this is slightly different quite quite here is an adverb and this time it is modifying another adverb and the other adverb is the other adverb is badly so badly is modifying the adjective enjoyed all right so that's the difference in grammar now let's look at an example let's look at an example sentence using both words here is the sentence so here are the students 
here are here are the students in the classroom and here here is the sentence using both using both words quiet and quiet the students are quite quiet in the classroom so listen carefully to the pronunciation again the students are quite quiet in the classroom can you hear the difference white quiet and this means that the students are a little quiet but not completely quiet okay so the students are a little quiet but not completely quiet all right so here we are describing we are describing the level of the activity of the students inside the classroom so guys that's the end that's the end of this lesson i hope you understand now the difference of the two words white and quiet you can visit the website englishtutorhub.com to get a complete downloadable materials for this lesson don't forget to subscribe like share and leave your comment below love to hear from you my name is javelin see you soon thanks for watching